Hello, welcome to Baldy Tim's Reviews. And I'm gonna start a little video series. Uh, it's a little bit different from what I normally do. In my last video, I was asking people on the channel who have subscribed to me, etc., what I should be doing. And some people want me to do more washing machine videos, some more of my car, the Citroen Berlingo. And those videos will be coming, sort of, uh, don't worry on that score. But I thought I'd do a, a series because I'm gonna be decorating our bedroom here. And so there's gonna be lots of stuff being bought, everything from paint to uh, new carpet, to uh, all, all sorts of things, uh, uh, new furniture, new bed, uh, so many things we're gonna do in here. So there's gonna be a lot of products to uh, uh, review. I'll be doing a little bit of a review on that and also of the kind of decorating work in general, giving you a few hints and tips. So I thought I'd just give you a little look around the sort of bedroom of what I've done already. And you'll see that I've still got a little bit of wallpaper stripping to do. And the review, if you can t uh, call it a re review, it's more of a tip really, is how to get old wallpaper off with relative ease. You can use one of those steamer things, but I've never really found those necessary. I've got a little uh, trick up my sleeve which I'll be showing you in a minute. So yeah, we decided as it's early in the new year to just refurbish this bedroom. It's our main bedroom. And yeah, the wallpaper uh, is a bit tired. It's all very, very uh, kind of 2002 in here. Uh, so tired wallpaper, very tired sort of old curtains here. Uh, not very fashionable anymore. Kind of, we've got uh, this sort of carpet here as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. It's uh, not bad condition, the carpet, but uh, it's just a little bit dated, I guess. Not too bad. I mean, we might be able to take that up and sell it on eBay. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've actually already stripped a lot of the wallpaper on that wall. So that wall's actually sort of come up quite nicely. I'm hoping to get away with just painting it rather than really papering it uh, that one's come up pretty smoothly uh, so we've done about half that wall over there that's just sort of bare plaster but it felt quite smooth so I think a base coat on that and then a couple of coats from emulsion should get that coming up looking pretty smooth as well anyway I'm gonna have a little bit of a move around and then I'll show you this little tip for getting the rest of this wallpaper off Right, we're all ready to start getting some more of this wallpaper off. So if this is gonna be a review about anything, it's gonna be a review about a bucket with a bit of hot water in there. Four inch brush like that with a nice bright yellow handle. And then the other two things we need, if I can find where I put them. Couple of scrapers like that and with just those four simple tools we'll be getting this wallpaper off now when I do it with this method as I'll be showing you uh, it really depends on what the top layer is like you know what you can see here because it tends to come off in two stages the top layer and then the kind of the backing paper afterwards and the top layer is often the trickiest one, as, as you'll see in a minute, because it all depends on what the breaking strain of the paper is as, as you're sort of ripping it off. Because very often the breaking strain of the actual paper itself is less than the pulling force required to get it off. And then that just means it comes off in really tiny little sections and you're there forever. And, and all wallpapers are different. Sometimes you can get almost whole strips off in one go, and other times you, you know, you're fighting to get every single little last 
inch, one inch sections of uh, this one is sort of somewhere in between, but what I found when I was doing a bit of a test strip over there at the beginning is if you sort of dampen the wallpaper down, it kind of seems to increase the strength of it slightly. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do to start with. So let's get some little bit of water on here. Right, so I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down with this water. Okay, so we're about halfway down on that, but we've got a slight little thing we need to look, look out for here before I continue, and I'll just show you what I'm talking about before I do the bottom. Now, now as you can see, there's a, uh, a socket outlet here, and as we all know, water and electrics don't mix, so you've got to be very, very careful that the water doesn't run down inside the socket there. And what I suggest you do is actually isolate the electricity. So turn or go to your uh, sort of fuse box, consumer unit, and just turn off the upstairs sockets or uh, yeah, whatever you you know yeah, have it's marked up on the board. And before you continue, and also then you need to still be very careful the water doesn't go in there because. If you're not, and you get loads of water going in there, obviously when you turn back on, it's you're going to get a blown uh, sort of a, a tripping breaker because you'll be getting a, a short inside there. So let's carry on. Right, that's the whole of that little section into the corner. That I'm going to be uh, stripping first of all, damping down. So once I've allowed a little bit of time for the water to soak in just a little bit, I'll be getting this paper off. So what we'll do is we'll start at the bottom here and what I'm going to try and do is just get into a corner there. You might need a sort of little scraper to you know, kind of start it off as it were. And yeah, let's start trying to get this off. Hey, first section came off completely in one go. So that's a bit of a result. Yeah, so that's coming off not too bad at the moment. Um, I must say it's easier here than it was in other parts of the room. I had much more of a fight, I, I can tell you. Right, well, I'm well pleased with that. I'm up to uh, windowsill height from the skirting board and it's coming off pretty easily on this section of wall. So yeah, well happy. So let's get working on up to the top and get the rest of this top layer off on this section.
Right, that is that little section of wall stripped of the top paper, and I'm pretty pleased about that because it only took about uh, five, ten minutes. It's not the whole story. I've still got to get this backing stuff off, as I said before. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second, but it's pretty much the same kind of process. Uh, it was a little bit easier to do this side of the room than it was sort of down the far end, away from the window. And that seems to be the case a lot of the time. I'm not sure why, whether the light degrades the paper and the uh, uh, wallpaper adhesive underneath or something, or the radiator's also here under the window. So maybe the heat coming off of that does the same. But yeah, it came off uh, pretty easily. I mean, that little section, as I say, only took me about five minutes, whereas in other parts of the room, it took me about 10, 15 minutes to do a similar uh, kind of uh, size of section of wall. But still not too bad though. But anyway, we'll get this uh, bottom layer off now. So we take our bucket of warm water and our four inch brush and we just brush this into the backing paper and you'll see as I go it darkens down considerably and goes quite transparent you can almost see what's behind on the bare wall behind as well so let's get this uh, let's get this washer on the wall Yeah, don't forget, uh, don't be frightened of just splashing it on in good quantities. Um, obviously, looking out for your socket, of course, but if there's nothing in the way, uh, you know, just get the water on in a really good quantity and make, make sure the wall paper backing is really, really sort of soaked. Uh, if you're gonna keep your carpet, I mean, doesn't matter with this one, but if you're gonna keep your carpet, obviously put a sheet down so that, that your carpet doesn't get too wet. But I'm gonna just carry on now. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which way you brush the brush, whether it's that way or up and down, just get the water on. Okay, that's the top section done. So we'll just do this lower section down to the skirting board. And yeah, then we can just let that water soak in for a while before stripping a, this backing off. Okay, so that is that section of backing paper completely uh, saturated. So I think what I'll do, I've got a bit of the old uh, uh, top layer there. I think I'll bag that up. I've got some black sacks over there. Gonna bag that up, because I like to work in a clean area. Keep things clean and tidy as you work along. So we'll do that. And while I'm doing that, the water will be really soaking into that. Because you always want to let the water do the work. So, Give it a good five minutes or so just to let that water really soak in there. And then hopefully this lot will come off nice and easily for you. Okay, so I've tidied up my work area there and that's had a little bit of time to soak in. So we're gonna use the bigger scraper this time. Uh, that one is, I think it's a two, two and a half inch. Yeah, it looks like a two and a half inch scraper so that's what you want so let's see how easy it is to get this uh, backing stuff off
Now look at that, that's coming off in a great big piece. Wow, it's gonna go way up to the top, I think. Yeah. And it got a massive amount of, uh, of that off there. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty quick, I think. Right, so that is that entire strip done in literally about a minute, minute and a half. That is in real time. So, yeah, you can see how effective this method is. Just let the water do the work, leave it a while uh, before getting started on this uh, backing vapour. But anyway, I'll get the rest of this off. Yeah, it's just pulling off yeah, in such big chunks, which is good news, that's what you want. gives you a bit of a workout this gets the sweat up so it's all good for the fitness point of view but yeah that entire little section which uh, must have been um, about a meter and a half kind of width ways and I think it's a 2.4 meter ceiling so that entire section probably took me 10 maybe 15 minutes to get that off so yeah came off really quickly and easily now, it doesn't always come off quite that well. Sometimes you have to persevere a bit. Sometimes that backing stuff I've just got off there um, can be sort of multi-layered. I just had a single layer of it there. So sometimes you have to get the first layer off and then dampen it down again on the second layer of backing paper and then get that off as well. So it can take a bit longer. But yeah, you can see with this method just how quick things can be. So, just got a just a little bit of this wall here. It's a bit more fiddly around here. I've got to go around the window and the radiator. So it's gonna take me a bit longer to do this one. So I'm gonna start on the top paper again, get that off, and then get the uh, uh, sort of backing paper off. And then that is this room stripped. So, I'm going to try and uh, get the paper off around the radiator now. It's always hard uh, decorating and stripping wallpaper off around a rad. Um, not going to go to the hassle and expense of getting the radiator off and then leaving it off until we've finished the decorating on it. It's the middle of winter here for one thing. So, I'm just going to pull the paper back as far as I can behind there. Uh, and then just paint around it. And then next time we have some central heating work done and have to uh, get the radiator off, I'll just strip the last bit of wallpaper behind here. There's only one rad in the room and then paint to that stage. So that's no, no big deal. So yeah, let's just carry on getting this rest of this stuff off. Oh, right, still carrying on with this uh, wallpaper stripping. It's considerably more fiddly around the window and the radiator. I'm just uh, going to do this last little section in two sections because I've got a great big uh, kind of bedside unit th thing here, which I'm going to move out of the way. So I'm going to do, do behind that, which is what I'm doing now. And then when I've cleared up, move that back and then I can just do the last little bit. But yeah, this is sort of proving to be quite fiddly to get all this stuff off. So as I said, I've done the bottom bit already around the radiator. So I'm just doing this top bit now. Uh, 
and I've just got this really annoying little strip there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just use the corner of that just to score it, and then hopefully it'll come off a bit more cleanly. go on <sighs> okay so we get in there I've got all the uh, top layer off um, on this side of the window that I'm doing got the uh, backing paper dampened down so just letting that water soak in for a minute or two and then I'll begin by getting that stuff off and then I'll clean up all around here move this bit of furniture back that I've got here in the way and then I'll just do literally the last last little bit of war still going to be a bit time consuming and fiddly because it's still around the radiator uh, but yeah it's coming on even though it's probably taken just this little bit here, which isn't even as long as that first bit I did, is it's probably taken me about two or three times longer, just, just because it's so fiddly around the window. But but yeah, we're getting there. It's one of those things where you've just got to keep your head down and just get on with it. Yeah, at least this uh, backing paper is coming off uh, nice and easily. So, shouldn't be too long now. Get a bit of this uh, silicon coming away from around the window as well. So, it's another thing that will have to be done. Yeah, look at that nice big bit of silicon coming away from there. So that's gonna go in the rubbish. <laughs> but I am thinking of just replacing this window. Um, it's quite old, it's about 25 years old. Probably no more than that, so 27 years old. And all the, uh, the double glazing sealed units are blown. Um, a lot of the uh, mechanisms are blown, uh, of sort of uh, on their way out as well, or not working anymore. So this top window, opening window, you can't even open anymore. The handle doesn't work. So yeah, I think uh, one thing that's going to be on the cards is just to replace the window. So that's one thing that will get done. Right, nearly at the point where we're just gonna have this swap around. So pretty much all this around here is uh, stripped off now. Uh, one thing that's a little bit bizarre is all the walls apart from this one are paint, have been painted at some stage under the uh, old wallpaper. But this back wall here um, hasn't, this is just a bare plaster. So uh, a bit bizarre. Um, you just wonder why these things happen going back in time, but it's no big deal. What I'll do with all these walls is give them a bit of a sand down, and then once they're sanded, uh, I'll put a, have to give this one a bit of prep, what we call a mist coat, which is just a wall, I'll show you all this in a future video, but, uh, and then I'll get a, probably a base coat, and I'll see, you know, what a good base coat is and then get that on the walls 
and yeah then just a couple of top uh, you know uh, emulsion coats of the color that we'll be having and i think my wife wants on this wall um the sparkle so that's going to be fun and interesting i have done that once before but uh not that recently so <laughs> we'll see how that goes yeah so i'm gonna have a little bit of a clean up here uh get some of this rubbish up out of the way and give it a vacuum get this furniture moved back and then i'll just get on with the last little bit hey. right so we are getting there so what i've done is i've moved the furniture back that way and we're kind of coming this way uh across the window wall here so just literally got just that bit at the top and then the same kind of amount at the bottom here so again all very fiddly just got a strip behind the uh, radiator there a little bit and underneath as well so yeah so it's going to be the same procedure uh, dampening down the top layer of paper getting that off and then dampening the backing paper getting that off so let's just get on with this last little leg of the journey, as it were. I got a uh, fresh bucket of warm water as well, because uh, it had gone well cold, the, uh, the first one. So that's nice and warm again. So let's get that on. Obviously it does help being six foot four, um, means I can get right up to the top without a uh, any steps or anything like that. So speeds things up a bit, uh, so I can count myself lucky on that. is dampened down. Oh, seems to have a bit of excess water here on the sill. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> right. So I think what I'll do, I'll score around the uh, curtain uh, rail batten there. And there, yeah, then start getting the, uh, uh, the paper off again, the top layer of the paper. section that it's all torn jagged which is horrible <laughs> top bit done on the top layer nice. so this is literally the only bit of uh, wallpaper left now this little section been with us for the best part of 20 years probably 19 years so time for it to come off and to say goodbye to the old wallpaper of fiddly little bits to do around the edges of the rad here um, but uh, I'll do that and then we'll get on with the uh, just getting the backing off again just on this section and that's this room done as far as the stripping is concerned so just literally got the last little bit of backing paper to get off just waiting for that to soak in again so that will be coming off I've already done all 
down behind and round the radiator, well, as far behind as I could reach. So that's already done. So I've just literally got from kind of about sill level, about there, up, up there and over there. And that is my last little bit to get off. So I will be getting on with that right now. that is all the wallpaper off in the whole room so let's just I'll just get the uh, um, camera off of here and show you what's what that is the entire room stripped so all the wallpaper is now off I did that little section of wall yesterday probably took me about two hours and then this little section you saw me doing from about there and most of that wall up to the edge of that little cabinet thing down there. Uh, it's probably about three hours. And then I did the first bit of wall there this morning. Um, probably took me a, about an hour to do that. So what's that? Uh, yeah, about six hours it's taken me to strip the whole room of wallpaper using that method. So I hope, uh, that taught you something, how to get this old kind of wallpaper off. I've found that technique has worked really well for me in the past. So moving forward, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, uh, well, organize a new window, I think. Um, and if I get one trade, it shouldn't be too much. And then we can sort of get that popped in. And then after that, well, while that's waiting for that rather, give the ceiling a couple of coats of same color, sort of pure brilliant white, some matte emulsion. And all these walls, well, and often wallpaper can sort of hide all sorts of nasties, but these walls aren't too bad. I, mean, I know this one looks rough, but if you run your hand over it, it's pretty smooth actually. And yeah, I'll give all these walls a um, kind of bit of a sand down. I'll show you how I do that. It doesn't take very long with uh, a pole mounted sander pad. So uh, I'll show you um, doing, me doing that. And then once they're sanded, obviously I'll sand all the woodwork as well. The window sills and the skirting boards and all that kind of thing. Door and frame. And then, yeah, we'll get some paint on the ceiling, some undercoat on the door and the woodwork. And then going back to the walls, I think, well, we're gonna have to put a mist coat on this bare plaster. And then a coat of what we call base coat, which you can get from b and and places like that. Uh, get a coat of that on all four walls. Might just put two coats of that on this, this wall and one coat on the rest of the walls. And then, yeah, sort of two coats of emulsion. Uh, I think uh, that wall, which is where the bed goes against, that'll be our feature wall. Uh, I was just discussing it with my wife a minute ago. So all these walls will be like, it's gonna be a very pale silver. And yeah, pale silver all around there. And then that wall there, probably a mid gray with sparkly speckle bits in. <laughs> so yeah, that is the plan of action. So I will be back with more before too long. Hope uh, you got some 
kind of value out of this first video. It's going to be quite a few videos, I think. Uh, reviewing, I'll be reviewing everything from paint to all sorts of things, even sort of decorating techniques like today. So, but I'll also be back with some of my more usual videos as well. So, yeah, I hope that's been useful. And I look forward to coming back with part two of the bedroom decorating series uh, before very long. Shouldn't be too long, actually, probably in the next few days uh, when I do a bit more prep in the room here and hopefully get a couple of coats on the ceiling. So, uh, so that's what we've got to look forward to. But I'll say goodbye for now. So it's Tim from Baldy Tim's Reviews. Thanks for watching.